It's no use! Whoa. Alright, well, I've kind of lost faith in them too, but you don't need to say it to their face. Hello everybody, I'm Garilla64, and welcome back to Sonic Mania Mods. Today, we've got Silver the Hedgehog. Except a different silver than last time. This one is made by Puyo and Sonic Fan, maker of mods such as the Amy Rose mod, which has the multiple palettes. If you remember, I think one of them has a blue shirt, one of them has a green shirt, looks more like CD. And he's also made Dreamcast Mania and a bunch of other stuff like that. But now, he's bringing to us the best mod in existence, Silver the Hedgehog. And look at, look at this. I'm not sure where these sprites come from, but they look kind of Sonic 3 maybe? You know, I mean, that, that idle animation was definitely Sonic 3, right? Just give him a sec. Yeah, let him be all impatient. Giving me, giving me the angry eyes. Well, we'll keep moving then, it's fine. So today I want to check out all the animations and just see what this has to offer because I was given a little sneak preview by Puyo and Sonic Fan, which I am very grateful for. I'm pretty sure it's because he knows that I, uh, I really like Silver as a character, and I really appreciate the fact he's sending me this. So, let's check out more animations! Oh. Alright, well, I, I guess that's how Silver gets his kicks. So far, it looks really fluid and nice. Like, I don't, I don't see anything that I don't like about it. <laughs> like, it looks great, I love it. And, you know, okay, I, 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 like, I'm biased when it comes to the character, but, like, I'm not seeing any, like, choppiness or anything. So, I mean, you be the judge as well. It's, it's right here. So let's check out the walking. And we'll get some running. Oh, he's, he just looks like he's hurrying really fast. He's like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I'm late, late for a very important date. There was an Alice in Wonderland Sonic thing. I'm pretty sure Silver would be the White Rabbit because he's, you know, like a, a whitish silver hedgehog and he's always going on about time. He's like, oh man, the future, it sucks. It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Heard it before. Oh, there's full speed running. He floats a bit. We're gonna check out some other levels as well because it's kind of hard to see every single animation in just Green Hill. Time for Super. Oh, there he is. Glowing boy. So much better to see him here than in Sonic 06. Even the fact that he was a big player in the ending of Sonic 06, I just still didn't like it. Let's, uh, let's see his glowing waiting animation. Alright, the only one waiting is me, so I'm gonna keep moving. <laughs> Alright, Silver's very aggressively trying to tell the wall to move aside, but even with his ridiculously overpowered self, he cannot cause the wall to shift from its position. Which is a shame. Too bad for him. Alright, well, there's the uh, max running again, but that's super, so we'll see more animations in, I don't know, Flying Battery or Studiopolis or something after we destroy this boss. You are nothing to me. Nice victory. He's putting his hand in front of his face because he doesn't want any of that nonsense in his way. He's just like, yo, just spare me the details. You're done. Like how he's kind of like bending his legs in when he holds that down too. <laughs> I don't know why, but he's just he's trying to make sure his feet don't get caught on anything. Cause could you imagine if you were riding a zipline like that and your feet just got caught on something and you just like got ripped off of it and fell to the ground, smashed your face? Ooh, just be unpleasant, I would assume. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well there's the pain animation and the uh, the diagonal spring. Neat. I decided to really switch it up this time. I never really visit the Act 2s right off the bat, so let's do Flying Battery Act 2 and just screw around for a bit. Cause I mean, I got time. And we gotta see what Silver can do. Gotta say I'm really liking this so far. Oh, look at the hover! <laughs> it's perfect! I wonder if, uh... I mean, it looks good like that. I wonder if it'd be, like, to match the, uh, the, the unbalanced animation. You can have a little bit of the aura around him or something. I just realized he's putting his hand, like, through his hair there. There it is. There's... Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I'm gushing, aren't I? He almost looks like in, uh... If he just removed his body a little bit there and the arms, he would look like, uh, Armless Sonic. Except Silver. Which means, you know, good things. Also, this is still in beta, so not all of the sprites are finished, but, you know, that's the purpose of taking it through all these levels, just to see what is done. And so far, it's looking brilliant. Oh no! 
Oh, okay. No, I'm good. There's a platform. Don't worry. Oh, I'm safe. For now. Oh, I'm invincible and I have a super form. So that means I'm literally god now, right? Nah. Nah, I'm still an idiot. And I thought to finish it off, we check out Press Garden just to fight a boss again. I mean, we fought the DD Wrecker, but it's like... What kind of fun is that? It's, it's child's play at this point. So why not fight Heavy Shinobi with Super Sonic and make that child's play as well? <laughs> as I said in the Motobug video, I usually just cheese that boss fight with Super Sonic, and uh, this will be no exception. I will be doing that to the best of my ability, assuming I can make it there with 50 rings. Do you know, anything's possible, especially with Popsicle, and we might become a Popsicle in the stage because it's very cold. There's, um... I know of an instrumental version of Dreams of an Absolution that would go perfect for the super theme for this mod. I, uh, I don't believe there's a super theme implemented. I do have a mod loader cut on that stops the themes from playing, because I kind of like the original stage themes. But I did check the mod files and there was no theme. So I don't know if there are plans for the super theme, but that, I believe, would go wonderfully with this. Alright, well, I'm not afraid of you now. Also, whenever I think Silver and this boss fight at the same time, I think of uh, Dayton's Sonic Rivals Mania mod, where he replaced uh, this boss with Silver. And every time he froze you, he went, It's no use! And it's like, oh man, he's talking as much as he did in 06, and it's beautiful. And that was really fun. I liked that mod a lot. As I do this one, this this is probably... This is up there with one of my favorite mods now. It's just, it's beautiful, and I can't wait for it to be completely finished. Alright, so that's gonna be everything I wanted to show off for today, but first, let's see Silver travel to the future. Because I want to see if he's created a good future for himself for once. He's doing karate kicks all the way to the future. He's giddy to get there. Ooh, Silver, I am sorry, the future still sucks! Well, that's gonna be everything I wanted to show off for today. So if you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell, follow my Twitter, and join the Discord to keep up with more Sonic Mania mods and other things that aren't Sonic Mania mods, because I do a lot of things. I'd like to give a huge thank you to Puyo and Sonic Fan for letting me try this out. You are awesome, and this mod is awesome, if, you know, you didn't catch that already from all of the gushing I've been doing. And I'd also like to give a big ol' thank you to my current sponsors, Modern, Mega Traffico, Knuckles Channel 3 and Knuckles, a really creative name, Xenozoles, MikeTG132, Beyond, or Ben Rundus, whatever you want to go by, you can let me know later. Roscoe13, Silva PhD, Drawbits, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Medic, and Rick Sanchez. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring. I really appreciate it. And if you have any interest in becoming a sponsor yourself, there's a link in the description with more information. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.